move, copy, and rotate. These are some of the fundamental commands that you may be using when editing your design. All these can be found in the Modify panel. Here's Move, Copy, and Rotate. Let's start by moving. Go ahead and select Move. The command line says Select Objects to Move. Let's go ahead and select in the top left corner and create a window selection. Let's add this dimension to the selection. And now, once we're done, we can go ahead and press Enter or the space bar. Now AutoCAD is asking us to specify the base point. This will be the point which you're moving the object about. You can go ahead and click almost anywhere within the drawing space. I'll select here. Now you notice we have a second copy. We can move this anywhere that we want. This time, let's try the copy command. This function is almost the same as the move command. It asks select objects. We'll go ahead and create another window selection. And then once we're done, press the spacebar or enter. And then it says to specify the base point. I'll go ahead and select here. And now you can see I can copy the object to anywhere that I want. Once I select here, you'll also notice that the object is still on my cursor for me to place. Let's select it a few more times. And once we're done, you can press the space bar or enter. Or you can select exit within the command line. I'm going to go ahead and press enter. You can see the copy and move are very similar. But by default, the copy continues to copy, which is very convenient. Let's go ahead and select these objects over here and hit erase. Let's select these objects over here and hit erase again. And one more time, let's get rid of this object here and hit erase. We'll pan to the left. We'll zoom in a little bit. Now let's take a look at the rotate command, which rotates an object about a base point. Again, AutoCAD says to select the objects. We'll go ahead and create a window selection around this object. And once we're done adding objects to our selection, you can press the space bar. We'll pan over to the corner a bit. And then it says, specify the base point which to rotate. I will click here. Now as you move your cursor around that point, we see the object is being rotated. Let's go ahead and flip this to the side. And we've rotated our object. The move, copy, and rotate commands are very useful when editing and modifying your previous designs.